Hello my little flowers, welcome back to my channel. So now that Mikey and I are engaged, I thought it would be really fun to do a who's more likely to video. Um, yeah, our dog is going to be popping in from time to time because he literally just won't leave us alone ever, which is okay. He's our buddy. Yeah, he's actually being pretty good right now. Um, so we asked you guys some questions on Instagram and we'll have some of those and we'll also have some ones that we found off of the internet. But this is just part one. If you want to see the rest of it, go on to our other channel, Type 1 Love. I'll put a link in the description. Wow, Remy. I'll put a link in the description and you can see the rest of it there. So basically we're going to be having questions like who's more likely to do this or that and then we're going to hold up the names either for Mikey or for Elise and just see if they match, which is just going to be funny to see if we agree on them. I feel like a lot of them I'm not going to be able to decide because we're yeah. really similar. We'll just have to impulse. First question. Starting off a little morbid, who is most likely to get in a car accident? <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> okay, so I do have a license, but I never drive because I'm literally so anxious to drive. I hate traffic. I have really bad vertigo. I have this feeling where like I can't even really control my own body, so I don't want to be controlling a huge vehicle, if that makes sense. So I would definitely get, just out of pure like nervousness, I would definitely get in an accident first. Versus me who loves driving. He loves and driving and he's a really good driver. Yeah. So that's why I got my new car that's got like all the safety features. Yes, just in case. <laughs> who is more likely to cry over a sad movie? <laughs> one, Survey says. One, two, three. I'm very emotional and I cry a lot, so yeah. Versus me where I'm not very emotional, I'm mostly very staunch and stoic a lot of times. Yeah, but yeah. you would cry over something happy, I think, more than you cry over something sad. Probably. <clears throat> Who is most likely to sing along to a song on the radio? Oh no. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, I can't help Um, it. But I do too, but I think that... I mean, most of the time when we're in the car, we listen to my phone anyway, so it's like music that I know and can't help but sing to yeah. or scream And to. I'm really bad at remembering lyrics in general, like I'll try to sing along, but I just don't really actually know the words. I'm willing to because I feel comfortable in front of him. He's like one of the only people I'll sing in the car with, but definitely he's always singing. Yeah, singing or, <laughs> you know, screaming. screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do that one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who is most likely to get on top during sex? Oh, that one! I thought you were talking about Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. My mom watches these videos! Likely to laugh during a funeral. Okay, one, two, two three. three. Yeah. He actually did once, but not in a disrespectful way. It was a funeral of someone we knew that we know that if they had been there, they would have understood why he was laughing. Yeah, he was kind he, of a life of the party kind of person and would have yeah. appreciated the jokes that I He would never made. like just outright laugh at like a really sad funeral. Or no. He, yeah. yeah no, but, I laughed at my own joke. So, yeah. And he, I was giving a eulogy, so. And basically he's really like really good at making people laugh and smile when things are kind of sad and depressing, so it's just kind of his instinct to do that. So a little, little backstory, my grandfather recently passed away um, due to Alzheimer's and dementia from a stroke, and they asked me to give a speech at his funeral, um, but they asked other people too, and I was sitting there thinking to myself, well, everybody's speech so far has been kind of sad, but not really talking about the person that he was, so I figured the best way to honor him was to tell the same dad jokes that he would tell. Yeah. And I think he would have really enjoyed it because I actually got my family laughing, which is a huge thing at a funeral to make people realize that, look, the you love somebody. Of life. Right. Yeah. You love somebody, celebrate their life, more over it, of course, but at the same time, he would want us to laugh. So. Yeah. Who's, like, who's most likely to forget their vows on our wedding day? Yes. Okay. Three, <laughs> two, one. How, why did you say that? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I feel like you would write something down, mm -hmm. but then forget it and go off the cuff anyway, and yeah. it would still be beautiful. He's because... better at like talking in front of people than I am. I think I'm actually just going to read mine because it's not that I would forget because I like wasn't taking it seriously, but I would just get nervous and I'd totally just, you know. I think we should just not write anything and go off the cuff and just say what we that's were feeling make, in that moment. That's what's going to make me more nervous. I need to write <laughs> something. I'm going to go off the cuff because that's 
I mean, literally every presentation I had in med school, like, I, I didn't really prepare too much for. I just... I'm, just, I'm the opposite. I'm good I at, have to prepare. I'm good at public speaking because, mm -hmm. I mean, the first show we ever played with my band was for, like, 150 people. And yeah. my stage fright went away almost, like, instantly because... And I performed yeah. dancing, but that's different. Yeah, like, it's not speaking. memorizing different right. movements and stuff. Speaking is, oh my god, I'm right. not good at it. Okay. <laughs> Who's most likely to leave the dishes in the sink for days? One... Two, three. Yay, we both yeah. said Mikey. Um, but like to be fair, he's the one that does go out and work, so I try to do more of the house stuff. If it really, really piles up, like that bothers me, but for the most part you're not too bad about it. And I think that the the I don't believe in 50-50 in a relationship. It has to be 100% of each person. So at days like this where I'm off, I actually do things like the floors and the laundry and the dishes. And yeah, the, you know, really I, I do everything that I, I possibly can when I have the time to so that everything else that she has to do, she doesn't have to carry so much weight because I realize Literally that. because of my back yeah. and my abdominal muscle, whatever's yeah. going on with me, so that's nice. So that's why I, I sit there and I try to, I don't know, help you out. Yeah. I appreciate it. Of course, baby. Let's do a question from one that we got asked. So my sister actually yeah, asked this question. <laughs> Not all of them. So my Boy. sister actually asked this and I thought it was funny because she spent some time with us about a month ago. She came down here for her spring break. And, dur <laughs> and during that time, I think she really got to understand us as a couple. So her question, oh my gosh, Remy. It's like you knew what we were gonna ask. I don't know if you guys heard that. Um, <laughs> She asked, who's most likely to fart in public? <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, Remy. so I kind of... Oh, that says Mikey, not Remy. Oh, so <laughs> he's more likely to do it on purpose, I would say. I feel like I'm more likely to do it in general. He will fart in public fart just to make and things... Or make fake fart noises. Yeah, just he thinks to... it's hilarious. I, I can't help it, I'm yeah. sorry. Potty humor is... Very under she asked another well. question. Um, ooh, let's see. Who's most likely to binge watch a Netflix series in a whole day? <laughs> well. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. Um, I don't. I feel like if you had more time, you would. Oh, and yeah, we could we could totally do that together. Yeah. But I'm the one that works from home, and he's the one that doesn't. So it's just more likely that I'd be the one to do that. But we could totally both just sit like on a day off and binge watch an entire series. Yeah, we've done it before. Yeah, we're fine with that. Like we don't need to go out and party and stuff. Like River that's our idea. Bodies, yeah, that's yeah. our idea of a party. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Netflix party. Okay. So according to Sugars, I'll put her. I don't know her Instagram somewhere on the screen. She asked. Right here. <laughs> she asked, "Who is more likely to crave treats and sweets?" Uh, three, <laughs> two, one. Yep. Yeah. I'm always stacking. Uh, I mean, you yeah. like snacks too, but he'll eat more of like salty snacks. Like he yeah. likes pretzels and stuff, whereas I like chocolate and like. See, but that's the thing is that I love chocolate and I love orange juice, but they're like my kryptonite. Like, yeah. I, I know that they mess me but up. But I'm so. more likely to crave sweets in general, I think. I'm always the one that wants to buy, like, the sweet candies, and you want to buy, like, Doritos and stuff. So, our very good friend, Daniel. He asked us three questions. So, here is his Instagram. It is beautiful. <laughs> it's gorgeous because he puts a lot of time and effort to it. I would definitely recommend following him. Who is more likely to fall asleep during a movie? <laughs> Survey says... Yeah. Yep. I can't help it. I don't know why. I'm a huge movie buff, but at the same time, after my long day at work, as soon as I like cuddle up with you, I'm out. Yeah. I'm going to sleep. Yeah. No, that's fine. I mean, for the most part, I understand, but I just think it's funny because it's like we're ready to watch a movie, and as soon as he cuddles up next to me, he just gets so comfortable that like it's game over. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs, thumbs up. up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and if you want to see the rest of this video, please head on over to our other channel Type and subscribe love. there. Type and in love. Guys, if you have any questions, if you send us any messages, we'll be sure to answer some in the next video. Um, we can always do a little Q&A. Yeah, of course. All right, thanks guys. Thanks guys.